so guys having made my position clear on the national identification system after highlighting as many weaknesses as i can and stating what i think could have been done differently or should have been done differently i have been taking the time out however to provide as much information on the proposed enrollment and intricacies of the system and as best as possible try to provide as much information and clarity as i can this is another such video before we proceed smash the like button to pieces leave a comment please share the life out of this video feel free to subscribe for more content remember to turn on your notification so as to never miss another video let's do it data requirements on the needs and the implications of non-enrollment a major concern among jamaicans ahead of the introduction of the national identification system needs is a clarity about the data that will be required for collection and storage under the new program some of the pertinent details will now be outlined there are three categories of data that the national identification system will keep one biographic which includes name address email phone number two biometric which uniquely identifies a person example photographs and fingerprints c demographic example workplace profession family status education level and religion if a person is unable to provide fingerprints secondary biometric data may be captured such as an iris scan Persons with disabilities who are unable to give biometric information will be verified instead by a special process to be determined by the Jamaica Council for Persons with Disability JCPD, and the National Identification and Registration Authority NIRA or NIRA. Needs will not collect any data that is not already being collected by other government agencies for other purposes. DNA, political affiliation, and sexual orientation will not be collected, and these items are specifically omitted from the data collection and storage processes, or so they say anyway. The National Identification Number, NIN, NIN, will be required for all Jamaican citizens and legal residents. Obtaining a National Identification Number will verify a person's identity with all public sector and private companies. The NIN and its corresponding NIC National Identification Card will be the only identification required for most transactions. Without a name or nick, persons will essentially not be able to do business with any government agency or entity. <laughs> Interesting. Jamaicans living outside of Jamaica and doing business in Jamaica can enroll like any other Jamaican at an enrollment site. At present, the project does not include any plan to establish enrollment sites outside of Jamaica, but adjustments will be made to the list of enrollment sites as the project implementation progresses. If a NIN is falsely obtained and if the NIC is lost or has an error, is misused or discovered to have been improperly issued, it may be blocked and or revoked. What will happen after, after that, I'm not sure. The NIC remains the property of the government of Jamaica. It is valid for life and is retained in debt. When a notation will be made on the database that the person is deceased, but all information will be maintained. Interesting again. Everyone will receive a national identity card NIC, upon successful enrollment. The randomly generated 9-digit number or name will be applicable even to children so that they can be identified and have access to health services and social programs. In effect, the NIN national identification number will be the same number from birth throughout adulthood to death it is to be noted that in respect of emergency medical services if these are life-threatening individuals will not be denied services in the absence of a name or a nick however access to general medical services in public clinics and hospitals will require a national identification number beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. So peeps, they say that if you don't have the NIC or NIN um, and you are in a situation where you need emergency government help or assistance, uh, more than likely medical, you will be able to access it. But who decides and determine that you are 
in need and you should get it that is a question that we need to answer you understand what i say they said that after you die they will update the database showing that you have died but the information will be kept um not sure why so there are other questions that that keep popping up the more we, we hear about this thing and uh, the answers are not forthcoming but and it's saying no if you are living outside of jamaica and you want to do business with government agency you better get enrolled or else there will be no chance of you getting what you want so in order for you to get service from those agencies you will have to get enrolled by visiting an enrollment site and they are saying that no enrollment site will be established outside of jamaica initially but it's a possibility as the enrollment progresses so we'll see how that goes Zane, and they are saying there's, there's another thing in it they are saying if you falsely obtain the national identification card or there's an error or it is misused and that is discovered it can be blocked or revoked so then if it is revoked do you then get the opportunity to get another one or you're just blacklist from the system and you can't access nothing in the country that is an very very troubling and worrying thing and i would like some more clarification but you know i'll seek it i'll talk to you soon guys this video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons to become a patron follow the link in the description below thank you for watching the video drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet until next time what good